Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding unpopular books. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Pandas schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called books with three different columns: book ID, name, and available from. Book ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. We are also given a second table called orders with four different columns: order ID, book ID, quantity. Quantity and dispatch date. Order ID is the primary key column with unique values for this table. Book ID is a foreign key that is a reference column to the books table. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to report the books that have sold less than ten copies in the last year, excluding books that have been available for less than one month from today. Assume today is twenty third of June, twenty nineteen. Order of the result does not matter. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we have five different books: book ID one, two, three, four, five, and then various orders. So what we need is assuming today is twenty third of June twenty nineteen. So between twenty third of June twenty eighteen and twenty third of June twenty nineteen, how many books are there who has been sold less than ten copies? So if we look at, for example, book ID one. So book ID one. So if you look at fifth of November and twenty sixth of July. So it is between twenty third of June twenty eighteen and twenty third of June twenty nineteen. So here the total quantity sold in last one year is two plus one three. So three is less than ten. Okay, that is one condition satisfied, right? Because it also says to exclude books that has been available for less than one month from today. So and today is twenty third of June twenty nineteen. So now we see that it okay satisfies three is less than ten. So one could be in the output but should it be in the output let's look at the second condition so book id 1 is available from 1st of january 2010 which is way more than being available for one month from 23rd of june 2019 so yes it satisfies both the condition and book id 1 should be in the output similarly you can go ahead and do for 2 3 4 and 5 so that is what you have in your output now one thing you might be wondering like why do we have book id 2 here right because in the orders you do not have any book that has book id 2 so obviously think about it if the book was not ordered that means the zero copies are sold so zero is less than 10 so satisfies one condition and it is also available for more than one month right so that is why such books are also going to be in the output okay so to solve this question what we can do is we can break this question into two parts firstly let's try that in last one year assuming this is 23rd of june 2019 how many books have sold how many copies forget about less than 10 right now let's see okay this is the book and how many copies has been sold in last one year so from this table called orders what we are doing is we need to keep only those rows where dispatch date is between now you need so today is 23rd of june so between 23rd of june and one year before this so you can use the date subtract function so date subtract from 2019 june 23rd interval of one year so subtract one year from 23rd of june 2019 that is going to give you a date so between that particular date and 2019 june 23rd you need to keep only those rows where dispatch date is between this then what we need is we can go ahead and group by the book id and sum the quantity column to get okay in the last one year these book has been sold these many copies so group by the book id then return me the book id and sum the quantity column and let's alias this as total sold okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so now if we look at it here you have book id 1 3 and 4 and these are the total sold copies in last one year assuming today is 23rd of june 2019 okay once we have this then what we need is let's go back to the books table and append this so here you have all the book information because remember you need to have all the books that have not sold more than 10 copies in the last one year and also check when it is available from right so let's append this in the books table just the total sold column so that we have all the information book id name available from 
and the number of copies sold in last one year. So how can we do that? We can save this entire thing in a common table expression. So with CTE as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and now from the books table aliased as b let us left join the common table expression using the common column is book id right so you have a book id here and book id here as well so using the book id column let's keep all the columns from the books table and we are only concerned about the total sold column so cte dot total sold now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it here in our output let me just drag it to the left so that is easier okay so now we have book id name available and total sold obviously we saw that for two and five there was no data in the common table expression we created so obviously it is coming out to be null null here means it is zero so we can go ahead and do that so that it's easier for us to understand right so here what you can do is if your cte total sold is coming out to be null replace it with zero so if null then replace it with zero and let's alias this as again total sold now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so if you look at it now those are zero and zero okay cool now we need to make sure that okay these are the book information that we have and how many copies were sold in the last one year assuming today is 23rd of june 2019 okay now based on this we need to perform two filters firstly the books has should have sold less than 10 copies so what you can do is keep only those rows where total sold is less than 10 let me go ahead and run this and this is going to give you a very interesting and i will ask you a question why that is happening okay let me run this now here if you look at it you have only three and eight what happened to the zeros part if you're not following this series thoroughly you probably won't be able to answer this this has to do with the order of execution remember firstly the execution starts from from then joins then where clause is executed so here you might think if null has already taken place and it has aliased as total sold but actually sql does not see it right now sql from left join using where and right now it does not have this right that you have substituted the nulls to zeros right so that is the problem that you are facing so instead of this if you just do this right so if null and then it is less than zero now if you look at it it is going to have those zeros right so remember that we learned something new today right so now you have these four books okay now there is this is just the first part of the condition that less than 10 copies in the last year but you also need to exclude books that have been available for less than one month from today so you have the available from you need to calculate the difference in available from and the 23rd of june 2019 to get okay this book has been available for how many months and that month should be greater than or equal to one then only keep those books so and return me the difference between 23rd of june 2019 and available from so in that case you can use timestamp difference give me the difference in month then between the dates available from and 2019 june 23rd okay and it should be this difference in months should be greater than equal to one because you need to exclude the ones that are available for less than one month right let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get so now if you look at it you have the three books that you need in your output one two and five however you do not need all the information you only need the book id and the name so instead of returning all the columns from books and you know creating a new column you can simply go ahead and do hey b dot book id and b dot name are the columns that i want if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so yeah this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so yes tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly what we did was 
in the last one year assuming today is 23rd of june 2019 we found out okay which all books have sold how many copies we stored that entire thing in a common table expression then we joined that information back to the books table so that we have all the information and the copies sold in last one year at one place and then we filtered on both the conditions that hey if the copy sold is less than 10 books should be available for one or more months then only keep those books so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better, more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.